In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the YouTube API. This is what the final result will look like using Postman, which is a free application that you can download so that you can easily follow along. In this specific example, we're just using the search API to search for a specific video on YouTube. I'm searching all videos that have the YouTube API in their title. And once I hit send, looking at the results, we can now see videos that have YouTube API in their title. So here you can see the title of this video. And if we keep scrolling down, you can see all the different type of YouTube API videos. And just before we start, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact API calls that I'm making this tutorial completely for free so that you don't have to manually recreate these API calls yourself. So to start, we just need to go to this link here. I will include this link in the description so that you can easily find it. Click on the Google Developers Console link that you see here. And you should now see a page similar to this. Click the checkbox and hit agree and continue. Click create new project. You can name this whatever you would like and then hit create. You should now see a screen similar to this and make sure the project you just created is displayed here. Now we will enable the YouTube API. Click enable API and services. Scroll down until you see YouTube API. It should say YouTube data API v3. Click on this one. Click enable. Click credentials. Click the button that says create credentials. Click API key. You will now see an API key created for you. Just copy this value as we will need it later. We can now go back to the previous link, which is this documentation on how to use the YouTube data API. Now I'll show you how I made the API call earlier using their documentation. Click on reference, click on search, click list. Reading documentation, we can see that this specific API call, which is return a collection of search results that match the query parameters that we specify. If you scroll down, you can see all the different query parameters that this API takes in, as well as what each specific query parameter is doing. However, the easiest way to start making this API call is to hit this button in the top right that will expand this menu. Copy the curl command that you see here because we can import into Postman. Switching over to Postman, we can hit file, import, click on raw text, paste in the curl that we just copied, and hit import. Where you see your API key, go ahead and just paste the API key that we generated earlier. Looking back at the documentation, we can see there's one required parameter and that's this part query parameter. Reading the description, it tells us to set the value to snippet. Going back to Postman, for the key, just type in part, and for the values, type in snippet. Then for the next query parameter, type in Q, and then for the value, it's this term you're looking for. So in my previous example, I just did YouTube API. One last change is go to the headers tab and just make sure to uncheck this box that says authorization. Now with everything set up, you can now just hit send. Looking at the results, we can now see a list of YouTube videos and details about each YouTube video, such as like the title, the channel, and like what time it was published at. Also, if you found this video helpful so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to help support my channel. The next API call I want to show is how to search for a specific YouTube channel. I already have the API call set up here, but it's going to be very similar to the previous API call that we just made. We're still hitting the same endpoint. The only difference is we're adding an additional query parameter with a key of type and the value being a channel. And for the Q value, we're just typing in Mr. Beast in this case. Now we can hit send. Looking at the results, we now get back a list of YouTube channels and we can see very specific information about each YouTube channel, such as the channel ID, the title of the YouTube channel, the description, as well as like when the channel was first published. The last API call I will show is how to display the latest videos that a YouTube channel has published. I already have it set up here. The only additional change I made or added a channel ID and order query parameter. For the channel ID, I got that from the previous API call. So for Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, you can see here there's an ID and then here is the channel ID. So I just copy that value and paste it there. And this will list the YouTube videos in reverse chronological order. After that, I just modified the max results value to 20 to list the 20 latest videos from Mr. Beast's YouTube channel. Now I'll hit send. And if we look at the results, we should now see his 20 latest videos. And those are just some of the many YouTube APIs that they offer. Hopefully by watching this video, you have a better understanding of how to make your own YouTube API calls. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.